I'm Lisa Barry Drago, and this is Distillations, a podcast powered by the Science History Institute. Our next episode is about the rubella epidemic that swept the country in 1964 and sparked a national conversation around abortion. A maternal viral infection during pregnancy, especially in the first three months, has the potential for producing a number of harmful effects in the developing fetus. When the rubella outbreak hits, panic sweeps the country. So there are these headlines, there's going to be 20,000 damaged babies. A deep-seated fear of disability, combined with a pre-ADA world, led many women to the conclusion that they needed an abortion. But there was a problem. Abortion was illegal, with very few exceptions. In this episode, we're going to hear from women who spoke out as mothers. How does a mother knowingly bring into the world a child to suffer? I cannot do it. I couldn't do it for two seconds. Knowing what I knew, I had to take the course that I did, and I don't regret it. As mothers, they demanded they should be the ones to make tough decisions about their own reproductive lives. They demanded that people listen. And eventually, grudgingly, people did. It's not what most of us think of as the movement for abortion rights, because it's not... It's not um, grounded in sexual freedom. It's really about family and children, and it is, it's grounded in motherhood. These housewives are probably not who come to mind when you think of abortion activists from the 1960s. But they help push the conversation forward around reproductive rights. And this historical moment, while sparked by a virus, paved the way for Roe v. Wade. Tune in to the next episode of Distillations on December 17th.